Good morning or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Supercars of London, in London, as opposed to Detroit. I had a fantastic time last week with Ford. Before I went, I wasn't too sure on um, what it was gonna be like because obviously Ford, they deal with a lot of cars that are more everyday sorts of cars. And as this channel is called Supercars of London, I was quite unsure with what they were going to be um, able to offer to this channel, but I could not believe how blown away I was by one, the Ford GT, but also two, the Shelby GT350R and the Shelby GT350. And I've come away wanting both or all three of those cars. Um, so well done. Ford, the Ford GT is probably the most futuristic car I have seen. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, McLaren, all of these cars that uh, all of these manufacturers that build supercars always get criticized for building cars that are too conservative and looks um, are a bit sometimes undecided, especially the brand new Huracan, which I'm still undecided on whether it is a nice car or not. I've seen a few on the road and I've seen a few at um, motor shows and car events and things like that, and I'm still undecided. I'm yet to see the perfect color. Whereas the Ford GT, a lot of people have asked on Instagram and Twitter, and of course on YouTube, whether this is gonna be my second supercar. They build, or they start building the Ford GT in 2016, and then in 2017 there's going to be customer delivery. So I'm really looking at that as being maybe my third supercar. It is a fantastic looking car, and really can't wait to see one on the road. What you probably can't see from the videos is how much wider it looks and how much lower it is, whereas the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, and even my car will look um, small and squished and everything in between. The Audi R8, I think I've created a new category called the Super Sports Cars, like the AMG GT, the Jaguar F-Type VAR. I think the Audi R8 fits in that perfectly. It is not a sports car. Sports cars I can see as sort of sometimes the uh, Mazda um, MX-5s, they were classed as the sports cars, the rear-wheel drive, the two-seater convertibles. The Audi R8 obviously doesn't fit in the Mazda category. Um, so the super sports car, I think it was born out in Detroit when I accidentally said it on one of my vlogs. Um, but I'm looking at definitely getting an Italian supercar next. And um, that moves on nicely to the fact that I am now in the last 12-month countdown of my 25th birthday. Today um, is my 24th birthday. Thank you to everyone who has um, already wished me a happy birthday across t um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and things like that who remembered from the last question and answer I did. I think someone asked uh, when my birthday was back in October or November. Um, and today is the day I'm 24 years old, which leaves the countdown of exactly 12 months until my 25th birthday. And those that have been following me since I've been 17, 18 years old, and my goal and ambition was to to own a Lamborghini by 25. I'm 12 months away and I definitely think that I'm on course to do so. So I am um, super excited about the next 12 months. Annoyingly, I've come back from America, had planned to launch a new fantastic supercar company, but it is not ready. I still have uh, one, two, maybe four meetings to get through this week and then I'll be able to push uh, to you guys, everything, all of the information about how excited I am on this um, European supercar style company. That's all I can say. But I was not expecting it to arrive um, as quick as it did. It is over there and a lot of people have asked me to do um, this video when it arrives. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I don't think anyone's going to know what I'm talking about. When you hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, YouTube award you with a special um, plaque or award or something like that to uh, commemorate the fact that you've hit the big 100,000, the six-figure milestone. And um, everyone, I hope everyone in that knows yeah, in December, I hit 100,000 subscribers and of course I did a video counting down to um, hitting 100,000 subscribers and um, I haven't actually done a 100,000 subscriber special. Um, hopefully that is going to be coming or filmed this Thursday um, which I'm going to be driving maybe a Lamborghini which is going to be a dream come true and uh, definitely going to give me a feel for my next supercar. So I have sort of given the hint that it's going to be a 458, but now I'm leaning towards the Lamborghinis because I've hit 24 and feel like um, this whole goal or ambition of having one by 25 uh, needs to be done. So um, the next bit that I'm going to be doing is probably a bit of mouth cam, so you guys... Um 
you guys are going to be going, um, well, I'm going to be holding the video camera in my mouth. You're not actually going to be going in my mouth. Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm going to be unboxing the YouTube Play Awards, which is the 100,000 subscriber uh, special. So um, you guys get to see what it's like to uh, open a box and then have a YouTube award in it. So um, let's go. So now I'm going to be doing mouth cam, so there's probably not going to be too much commentary, which um, is probably a good thing. What is that like? Tracing paper. Bit of tracing paper. Thanks, Tom or Thomas. And then here we go. Ooh, there we go. That looks quite plush. I know. Congratulations, Supercars of London, for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. And then a big mirrored play button. Hello. There's lots of people that have got this before me um, and hopefully there's going to be a lot more people after me that also get this 100,000 subscriber special um, plaque, whatever you want to call it. I feel like I'm going to drop it, so I'm, I am going to put it down.